Man, I was so surprised today. It's been since our graduation ceremony at college since you and I last saw one another. And for me to run into you again is just wow. <laughs> By the way, you started working at the bank after you graduated, right? Well, I never knew you were working at that bank of all places. I was just as shocked as you today. I never thought I'd be running into someone I knew from college today at work. From what I heard through other people, you happened to get married right after you graduated, right? You already know that one to be true, Cindy. <laughs> after all, the man I married happened to be your ex-boyfriend, Jackson. <laughs> it's because of me stealing him from you back in the day that I'm able to be happy all the time with him. Thank you so much for that, by the way. <laughs> uh huh? But listen, I've been worried about you this whole time, Cindy. You really loved Jackson back then, and I didn't know what kinds of things stealing him from you would do. You ended up taking time off school after you found out I was the one that took him from you, right? <laughs> I'm glad to see that after something as tragic as that, you were able to get yourself a job and are working. Stop talking about all of that like it wasn't a huge problem. What the heck do you mean you've been worried about me all this time? No way you've been. I've been more worried about you because of how mentally unstable you are. What? <laughs> I am still not over what happened back then between you and I. I had always thought of you as my number one friend then, yet, because of that sadness and hatred I felt after you took my boyfriend, I was never able to get over it. Stop trying to act like you're still a victim to that. <laughs> back then, I was just young and made a mistake. I was jealous of you because you had gotten yourself a man that works for a huge company and I really wanted him for myself and that's why I began to make myself a little closer to him if you know what I mean. Well, it's because of me and my beauty that I was able to keep him and right after graduation ceremony, him and I got married. <laughs> And right after being cheated on by my boyfriend and having my best friend end up being the one doing so with him, I left the two of you behind and started to work on finding myself a proper job. However, while that was all going on, you continued to harass me with comments about how you didn't need to find work because you had a rich man by your side now. I am really so happy I married Jackson. He's able to bring in a ton of money for me, and I never have to leave anything to for anything besides leisure. <laughs> and when it comes to things like chores, he says I don't even have to worry about them. All he wants from me is me at his side, as that what makes him happy. Hmm? Oh, that's so amazing for you. But, as I was thinking, Never having anything to do really leads to one becoming bored, right? As that's why I've gone out and made myself a business. I'll be going from a housewife to one of the best business owners in the city. <laughs> You're going to become a business owner? I want to make myself a salon where I can get other women like me who have a lot of free time on their hands to come work. And I'll make sure that they are taught how to treat really high-end models and rich older women's hair. That way, I can make millions. <laughs> That's why I ended up going to the bank today to get some financial support. And you happened to be there. I was laughing my butt off at that time. Someone like you ended up as a single woman and now have to spend every day of your life working to support yourself, right? Huh? Your last name hasn't even changed yet, so that means you don't have a husband, right? Could this be because you still can't get Jackson off your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm married right now. My husband happened to take my last name, and so that's why my name has not changed at all. <laughs> You're lying. Someone that had their boyfriend stolen from them from right under the nose has a husband now? Well, I suppose there are men in this world more hopeless than you. I'm sure that he has nothing special about himself, and that's why you settled from him, right? That's not true at all. He cares a lot about his career and is someone I can count on quite often. Actually, he happens to be a department manager for the company he's working for. What? A department manager? <laughs> I actually married him after we both met working in this bank. H hold it! You stop right there! To be a department manager at a large bank like that would mean he's kind of an elite, right? The fact that you were able to land a husband with such an amazing job and income as that, I, I can't fathom. Now, I'm really busy with work still. 
See you. I hope you can get that business of yours rolling. Cindy, come and help me. What the hell is up with this friend of yours? Huh? What's going on with you? Just a bit ago, she came in saying that she plans to start a business of her own, and that she'd like some financial support with it. I asked for another one of my employees to handle that for me, to start looking into her history and all that to see if we could accept her and let her get a loan through us. And just after talking for a bit through my employee and settling the conversation, we thought she'd gone home. But she's back again, and now she's asking to speak directly to me. She keeps saying that she's friends with my wife, and it means I have to give her money right away. What? Does her name happen to be Tiffany by any chance? That's right. That's her. I tried to handle the situation myself, but she's asking me more about my private life than actually wanted to talk about business. Huh? She's asking me whether or not I'm getting tired of being married to you. And she's asked me many times now what types of women I like. What the hell does she want from me, this woman? Actually, do you really happen to have a friend as vulgar and stupid as this woman? Well, I did have a friend like that at one point, but not anymore. I'm sorry that you've had to deal with her when you're so busy. She happened to be in the same class as me back in college, but there was a lot that happened and now I don't talk to her anymore. But actually, she ran into me today when I was walking into work. There was a lot that happened between you two? Uh, she must be that really crazy chick you told me about before, right? She happened to be that girl that stole my boyfriend from me while I was dating him. She stole your boyfriend? And because of that, she's been able to enjoy a really relaxing life as a housewife with him. Well, she just kept going on and on about how amazing her life is and bragging to me that I told her I had to go. But before saying so to her, I wanted to get back at all her bragging a little and told her that my husband happens to be the department manager here. So that's how she became aware of me then. You really don't have to worry about this anymore and can get right back to work. If it doesn't look like you can finance her business for her, then just tell it to her straight. Oh, I'm definitely not financing her. It already seems like the business she wants me to finance for her is a little vague. But there are also some other things in her past that are stopping me. Are you sure that woman is really married right now? Because the background check... Um, what do you mean by that? When it comes to us wanting to start supporting someone with opening a business, we first need to know about the money they have currently. But she told me that with the amount her husband makes every month, we shouldn't have to look at her account balance and everything. And after that, all she continued to do was try and force us to look over her husband's income. The problem here is, the income statement from her husband is from five years ago. Five years ago? That's not going to help her get her funding at all, right? I told her for the time being that it might be a little difficult for us to get her any money. But then she asked me what she could do to get me to give her funding from the bank. She kept begging me to tell her what she could do, and then she handed me her number and walked out. Uh-huh. Of course, right after getting it from her, I threw it away. But seriously, something about all of this isn't right. She came into the bank asking for money, but the only way to prove she was financially stable was her husband's income statement from five years ago. I thought I had seen it all working for the bank, but that right there is just wild. If she really happens to have a husband that can make enough money for her to stay home all day, then why can't he fund her a new business? I don't understand why that isn't happening either, because that seems like a way easier option for her. Do you want me to take over this problem for you? I'm really sorry all of this ended up on your plate, but I'd really like to handle it before things get out of hand, and she comes after you. Huh? Are you sure you're okay with that? Aren't you busy yourself? You just became this bank's executive this year, right? So you have so much you need to do already. Having to take on the work I should be handling is not something that'll go over well with your workload, right? No worries, Martin. I'm actually quite embarrassed that someone from back in my school days has come back and caused my husband all kinds of trouble. I'll deal with Tiffany from now on, so if she comes in again, send her to me. And if she's come asking about the financial support she'd like again, tell me. I'm sorry, Cindy. It looks like as though this time I've gone and stolen your husband from you. <laughs> uh-huh. To think that you'd actually have a husband that's the department manager for a huge bank like that. I've been so jealous of you being married to an elite like him. It's driven me nuts. That's why, like last time, this time he's mine. 
Um, what are you going on about? My husband has no reason to be cheating on me with a woman like you. My husband actually happens to love me very much and is straightforward enough where if he stopped having feelings for me, he'd say so. I'm sure this is all hard for you to believe, but he's gone and chosen me now. He had been saying no to all of my advances for a little while now, but finally, today he said he's going to go out with me and now we're going out to a bar together. The fact that he's willing to go out with me to a bar at night just goes to show that he's completely fallen for me. He's already forgotten about you and I'm hoping tonight we can make that official by taking things to a hotel room. What? You think him saying yes to going out with you tonight to a bar is him showing that he no longer loves me? Well, would he ever go out with another woman one-on-one -on -one for drinks that late night in the evening? In other words, this all shows that he does not care about you as his wife anymore. He's only focused on me now. Well, even if that were to be the case, don't you have a husband yourself? Do you plan to stab Jackson in the back now? Of course I do. I'm going to hop off his slow train and onto your husband's luxurious and fast one. Really? He may be working for a very large company and all, but him making it to the top is going to take forever. Compared to him, your husband is by far the better choice for me. At the age he's at, he's already managed a position as the department manager for a bag that popular. I need him to be mine right now. He will definitely be the perfect choice as my next lover. <laughs> Man, I feel so bad for poor old Jackson then. And also, since I'll become the wife of a department manager at the bank, I'll be able to get my funding for my bank, no questions asked. That means I'll have my business up and running in no time. No bank is ever going to offer financing like that to another family member. This bank is far from that kind of practice and will make sure you go through the same process as everyone else. Shut the hell up! All you are is a base level employee there and know nothing about that bank's practices. What? Compared to your husband, you'll never move up in that bank, so you're better off just shutting up and letting all this play out. You won't be able to do anything about us in your position anyway, as your husband is currently the department manager and he might soon fire you. And actually, since you've already lost to me again, go ahead and start working on those divorce papers and hurry up all of this for me. That man is now mine and I'll have access to all of his money. Do you have any idea who I am? Huh? I guess you have no reason knowing who I am since you're just a loser. You were even able to take a good look at who I was walking into the bank last month and yet you still have no clue about me. Hold on now. You have no right making fun of me now when you're still a low-level employee there. I'm just calling an idiot an idiot. What's so wrong with me doing something as correct as that? You think that I'm actually a simple employee here? I'm above my own husband in this company as I'm the company executive for this bank. I happen to have a lot more difficult of a job than he even has and in return for that, I literally am making the bank. So you really have no place calling someone like me a low-level employee. What? The company executive? Um, what is that position? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. An idiot like you would never be able to understand what someone in my position is. Banks area actually run a little differently than your average companies when it comes to business. When you talk about department managers in banks, they are actually the branch manager. And the person above them that directs everything is called the company executive or just the executive. And so by what you've told me, you're actually the executive for that bank? That's right. Yet you said I can't do what my husband, the branch manager, is able to do? How hilarious! There's no way he's able to do anything without my approval first. I have more rights than anyone in this bank after all. Huh? And when you've told me that you've gone and stolen my husband from me and everything, I have to say I'm sorry for you. You think my husband would ever throw someone like me who's making so much money right now away for someone with no money? Today I'm going out to dinner with my husband as it's actually the day of our wedding anniversary. Your guys' wedding anniversary? Yeah, 
Today, we have been married to one another for three years now, and that's why we're going out to dinner to celebrate. You think he'd really want to go out to you on a bar on an important day like this? B but he said he wanted to go out with me tonight to the bar. He told me he'd be waiting for me there and everything. He was the one that messaged me and everything about our date plans. I don't care about the fact that you're some kind of executive because that means nothing when you're about to lose your husband. So this is who my wife's been talking to. When did I ever say to you that I'd be going out to the bar tonight with you? It's disgusting that you'd even think that of a married man, so stop with your crap. Uh-huh. It's been a little while, right? I'm Cindy's husband, Martin, if you couldn't already tell. Martin, why would he say all of this is disgusting to you? You were the one that said yes to going out on this date with me tonight, right? You told me that you'd be waiting at Freezy's bar just downtown for me. I told you to never talk to me about anything else ever again, and said for you to always remember what I said to you. The only thing I said yes to you about was having you come to that bar tonight, at the place we're having dinner, so that I can show you how much I love Cindy. What? You, you plan to show me something like that? I've told you so many times to shut the hell up and leave me alone, yet every time you come back saying you're a better woman than my wife. And then you follow that up with asking me whether or not I'm tired of Cindy yet. You, you have kept all of that up for so long that it's really drove me up a wall. But look, Tiffany, I don't like that you have my wife involved in all this still, when she has a lot of work to focus on. So that's why I said we could go out tonight and that you could meet me at the restaurant and bar to see me with the woman that I love. And I was surely hoping after seeing that you'd give up. That's the reason for me saying yes to you wanted to go on a date and that's why I've been waiting. That's what's going on? None of that was about you wanting to actually go on a date with me? And you're going to tell me that you didn't fall for my beauty? What about you was so beautiful again? Don't say something so embarrassing about yourself like that, please. Uh-huh. I really like myself a woman that puts all her effort into her work like my wife. I find that kind of thing beautiful about my wife, and it gets me to love her so much. But comparing her to someone that thinks it's okay to steal men from other women and then openly flaunt about it? No way in hell. Not happening. To me, nothing about that is beautiful. Huh? I do find your drive to open your own business really cool. But the fact that you don't have any money and ask for a lot, and don't even have any experience in the field? You really think you can get financing from us just like that? You told me you wanted all your employees to have wonderful manners and skills for the job so that you could cater to celebrities and such. But look at you. No manners whatsoever. You've been digging into my wife trying to make yourself look better than her by talking all this talk for so long, but I have nothing to show for it yet. Do you think any bank is going to want to lend you any of their money? Wh what? There have got to be women that want to come work for me and learn about how to take care of people with lots of money, right? Stop making fun of me in my dream to become one of the best business owners in the city. You do have a good point. There are things in this world that you will never know about unless tried. But when it comes to this bank and its money, we're not going to blindly throw it away with you. If we don't see something having a chance of turning up a profit, we won't finance it. Especially when it's for something run by someone with poor ethics. That's simple. Stop all that bullcrap right now. Thinking you can harass me like that? You're not even going to go on a date with me now, and yet you still want to bully my dreams? Who the hell would ever want to cheat on their husband for someone as rotten as you? You can go ahead and stay with that toxic wife of yours and both go rot in hell. Sorry about my husband yesterday, Tiffany. No matter what the reasoning, someone should never make fun of another wants and dreams. I warned him not to do that again, okay? As for my bank, we want to help make sure that everyone is treated fairly when it comes to their money. So if you don't mind, next time come see me in person and we can talk about your dream. You and I were together back in college, so I promise to treat you well. Oh, so now the executive of that bank is going to be the one to talk with me about my business? <laughs> well, that must mean I'll get my money in no time, right? That is not all what I meant. Rather, I would be happy to offer my support if we can make a deal. So in return for me being kind enough about letting you work with us, I'd like you to start being honest with me. Let's start by talking about how years ago that husband of yours ran away from you, right? So right now you've been living in a load of debt all by yourself. What? 
if you are not going to be able to tell us everything about your financial situation, we're not going to be able to help you here. You, you hold on a second. Why? Why the hell are you aware of what happened with my husband and my debt? Well, I happen to be the executive of a very large and popular bank, right? And I happen to know about him because of that. I am also aware of the amount of money you currently have and about when and where you're receiving and sending money. You happen to both still share some banking information with one another so I can find out about you through it. Are you kidding me? But listen, I haven't been doing all of this looking through your history for a bad reason. We just happen to have to know as much about you as possible before considering you for financing. But don't forget, we also have to look into your personal history here, and I made sure to go through everything we found as diligently as I could. As diligently? When it comes to that amazing marriage you happen to have and bragged about, that is actually all a lie, right? You have actually been divorced from Jackson for over five years now. And when it happened, you didn't get any kind of money or properties from him. And ever since that happened, you have not been remarried and have been all alone. You tried so hard to make yourself look like you were living your best life as a housewife online. But because of that, you are now $60,000 in debt. And the amount of money in your bank account right now is only $3, right? No! So you found out freaking everything about the true me! I'm sorry, but having someone in your situation ask out for financial support and starting up that salon, well, it's going to become a real headache for us, I'm sure. You already happen to be in a terrible financial situation yourself, but also lied to my husband and I about your private life. If anything, you tried to commit fraud by doing all of that. What do you mean fraud? Who the hell cares that I did all that? I just wanted to start my dream business so that I could help cater those with lots of money and make a living. I already have a major following online and they all care about me without even having to know that I lost my husband. But the fact that you lied to us about your horrendous situation means that my bank will not help you. How about you tell all your followers the truth and maybe get some support from all of them? Tell them that you still have that dream, but need all their support to make it happen so that a lonely and poor woman like you can be happy too. You'll probably get a lot of them feeling bad for how desperate you are and they'll do anything to give you a helping hand. But when the celebrities find out about how my salon started, they won't come. You are not going to get away with treating me like an idiot any longer. And the fact that you look into my true self without my permission is not okay. I'm not treating you like an idiot if you've already been acting like one. And I went ahead and looked into the true you in order to try and help with your business dream. Yet, after all that time my bank and I put into looking you up, you saying that about me hurts. Ugh! I wish I had never ran into you in front of the bank like that. For Christ's sake, you and your screwed up husband are the worst. I don't give a dang about your bank support and I don't want to talk to you ever again. But you wanted to be the one getting support from me. <laughs> Let me tell you right now that if you go out to anyone about my true life and started yapping about it, I'm going to kill you. I promise you that. <laughs> After that, I never received another text from Tiffany ever again. And as for my husband, he was in the same boat as me, never having to get a text from her ever again. And after what happened between us, Tiffany's debt only continued to grow. And with that money she took out from loan sharks, began to start a business of her own catering to the wealthy. But each month, she only makes herself $300 as there are very few people coming to be around her and I have enough to say that that is not enough money to keep the business going. And when she went online to tell all her followers to visit her, not a single one of them came. What makes this all worse is that she's leasing the current building she's in for $5,000 a month and that's only causing her debt to grow even more. And at one point, one of the loan sharks waltzed into her salon to leave her a message and that the next day the place was closed down and she was nowhere to be found. Thank you for watching till the end. If you felt good about this video, like the video. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. Subscribe too. Your likes and subs lead to our motivation. We have so many videos on our channel as well, so go ahead and take a look. See you in the next video.